Hey everyone, it's Julie and I am doing a VR to a tag from Anna over at Astral Lady Tarot and it is called Cliché Tarot Reader and I, I've seen on my feed that people have already done some VRs so I can't wait to watch those um, but this is just such a fun tag that I had to hurry up and do the VR before I lost motivation, which happens to me a lot on numerous things. So um, this tag is basically Anna kind of going through different characteristics, um, you know, different things that uh, she thinks exemplifies kind of like a, a cliche for a, a tarot reader. And she uses herself as an example of some of the things that she owns or does that she uh, thinks is kind of like a, a cliche for a tarot reader but cliche in the best way, right? So I will go through some of her examples and respond to those, and then I will add on a few of my own. So the first one that Anna talked about is the cliche of having more than one version of a deck. And she used RWS as an example. And this one was kind of hard for me in that, like, I, I, I mean, I own a lot of kind of, RWS clones. Um, so I, but I feel that those are still different. They're not necessarily a version of a deck. There's, they're different decks to me. Um, I mean, they follow and adhere to the same tarot structure, and certainly the images do mimic. Pam's art, but just, I don't know, the feel of the deck, you know, the maybe the medium used, um, that to me makes it feel different enough. So I don't know how to answer this question, you decide. The next thing that Anna brought up is backup decks, and I do own a couple backup decks. So one is the Everyday Witch, which is one of my ride or die decks, as you know. Um, I have one here in my apartment and then I have the other copy at work and I keep that there, um, but I still kind of consider it a, a backup, but I haven't seen that copy in over a year because I haven't been to my work site in that long because of, you know, pesky COVID. And then the other backup that I recently got is for the... Raven's Prophecy Tarot. And my first version is completely modified. And so it's like now a little mini deck. And I don't know, lately I've been kind of liking the orange borders that I previously hated so much. And I thought I would just get another copy. I had some birthday money, get another copy and try it out with the orange borders. Um, and just because I love this deck so, so much. And we'll see. So maybe next week I will go back to hating the orange borders and then once again modify this deck, but that is the Raven's Prophecy. So the, those are the only two that I have backup copies for. Drinking tea, affirmative. Yes, I do drink tea while I read tarot, although I do drink tea just kind of on the regular, I um, have also been known to drink hot chocolate when I read tarot and sometimes even this, which um, someone once, uh, I heard someone once say that there are chemicals in this that are also used to clean toilets and I'm okay with that. Crystals, absolutely. I love wearing crystals as jewelry. So today I have on my um, amethyst cluster. I have on my labradorite ring. Um, I've definitely slowed down on crystal purchases because I, I, I have mainly all the the crystals that I've uh, particularly been looking out for. Um, so I, I have all I need and am fine with just working with the pieces I have. 
uh, a more recent acquisition. This was earlier this year, in the beginning of this year, that I bought from my local witchy shop. And um, it is a Labradorite skull. Because believe it or not, I did not yet own a skull. I mean, I had like a little small quartz one, but technically that was Matt's and I just stole it from him. So I don't know if that counts. Crystals are great. Candles as well. Uh, again, mood. It's great to have candles while you're doing a tarot reading. Just in general, I love fire. I love it. And uh, the actually the most recent candle I have been burning is from Allison over at Tech Coven. The Lavender Sage, it is wonderful. Tarot books, absolutely guilty. Um, I have a bunch of books lining my bottom shelf there. And um, the most recent one that I've been getting into is this one, Spiritual Tarot, um, 78 Paths to Personal Development. I got this, Oh gosh, maybe at the end of last year? I can't remember, but finally started kind of getting into this one. Um, and I, I really am enjoying it so far. Tarot journal. Yes, I have. Well, so I have one tarot, it's more like a tarot dump. Well, actually both of them are kind of tarot dumps. So one is more for like any kind of notes that I wanna jot down, anything that I'm learning. And then the other journal is more for um, spreads and reflections and just kind of tarot related memories or mementos and sometimes even kind of non tarot stuff thrown in there. But those are the two that I currently use. Tarot tattoo. I have tattoos, but I don't have a tarot tattoo, which is not to say that I would never get one, but I don't have one and I don't have one in mind yet. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Shuffling. I do enjoy shuffling for sure, um, especially a good riffle shuffle. I have been practicing my overhand shuffling and so there are a couple decks that are that feel good to overhand shuffle. Um, there are times where I just do it as, you know, just kind of, a, a, I guess, to fidget while I'm maybe watching something or listening to something. Um, but it's not, a, it's not a, a regular habit, but I do enjoy it. And just to kind of piggyback on that, I do, sniff my decks. Uh, anybody out there a deck sniffer? <laughs> because that I am, I'm guilty of. I sniff my decks. I sniff my books. I, you know, I'm a sniffer. It sounds terrible. Cardstock. Yes, I have become a cardstock snob. Although maybe some of you would disagree because I like what people call the shitty Llewellyn cardstock. I like that cardstock. It's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, when the cardstock is way too thick, way too sticky, that rose petal finish that I have come to abhor, I will get rid of a deck. So actually I have rehomed recently a few decks that I would have otherwise kept because I like the images, the deck works for me okay, except for the shuffling. If I can't shuffle it, then I don't use it. So I am, I am particular about my cardstock more and more these days. And then fairy lights. I have never had fairy, fairy lights, but um, they're, they always look so pretty when other people show them on their channels. I'm tempted to get me some fairy lights. I just don't know where the hell I would string them in this apartment. So, um, and also I would have to put them in such a place that the cats won't get to them. So maybe I will save the fairy lights for when I get a bigger place. Now onto a couple of my own additions. 
So I think that another cliche would be owning tarot bags and tarot cloths and maybe some other people that have done VRs or will do VRs to this would say the same thing. But um, some of my go-to uh, sellers, creators for bags are um, Betsy over at The Bee and the Snake and of course, Peggy at Sparks Creations. She also does these kinds of bags as well as these awesome kind of, um, what do you call them? I don't know, these like huge wrap purses that you can put in not just um, the deck, but also a book and a crystal and whatever else. And then you can kind of fold it out and this becomes a little, uh, reading cloth, amazing. And then of course, um, Jenna over at Moonlit Fay. she creates wonderful clutches. And um, the thing about these types of bags, which I do love them, but the cats have taken to chewing on the strings. And so I have been trying to now switch more over to bags that don't have strings because um, I just, yeah, sometimes I'm not careful and I just leave this around and then next thing you know, uh, there's just cat spittle all over my bags. I've also tried to make my own tarot pouches, which, um, you know, to be stringless, you know, which is fine. They're fine. They serve their purpose. And I'll also repurpose like little makeup bags and whatever. Um, another one that I made. To be honest, I don't enjoy sewing tarot bags and tarot pouches. I would much rather just purchase pretty ones from people who know how to do it better than I can. But tarot cloths, those are one things that I, um, those are, things that I do make on my own. I do have one that I purchased, but on the whole, I find these easy enough that I can do like a quick and dirty, you know, reversible tarot, tarot cloth on my own. Um, so I do have several of these that I've just done on my own. So um, also tarot travel bag, I would say would be another cliche. So any kind of little, so I have this little kind of tarot travel pouch. Some people might have like a, a bigger bag. Um, so in my pouch, I have this little mini tarot cloth. This is actually another Peggy Sparks creation. Um, creation. <laughs> uh, she um, sometimes has those little minis available. And then right now I, I have the um, tarot of a moon garden in here because I can do a nice, since I modified them to be kind of skinny and smaller, these fit nicely on my little um, mini cloth in a three card spread. So this is what I currently have in there. Sometimes I switch it up, depending. Sometimes I switch it up, but that's what's currently in there. Sometimes I can fit um, crystals in here. I can fit some other little things, but this is what I like to kind of take with me on the go. Another tarot cliche is owning tools for tarot modifications. So we are talking various um, supplies of markers or Sharpies or pens, um, a nice pair of scissors specifically for trimming borders off, a guillotine for trimming borders, corner rounders, uh, anything that could be used to modify a deck. I have all of those said items and um, you might too, if you are a cliche tarot reader. <laughs> and then finally, I have a 
purgatory box. So you might be a cliche tarot reader if you have some type of purgatory box, drawer, or designated space for where you keep decks that you are thinking of rehoming. Now my box is in the attic and it is this um, huge like kind of, I don't know, like a storage box that you would get at like a TJ Maxx or like a Michaels. You know, they're like decorative and they have kind of this magnetic clasp and you're supposed to store whatever in there, knickknacks or whatever. They're like pretty. And mine was actually used as a Christmas gift. Um, I received this huge box and little things inside. And so that's what I've just been using as my purgatory box. Um, and that is it for me. So those are my tarot reader cliches. I'm excited to take a look at everyone else's VRs. I hope you guys also participate uh, if you are inclined on your social media platform of choice. And thanks to Anna for a fun tag. I will see you in the next video. Much love and take care.